As we approach the 11th anniversary of September 11th, Americans are still fighting and dying in Afghanistan. But one wounded warrior from Ohio faces a new battle here at home to regain his personal freedom. He's recovering in a Texas hospital tonight, but you'll hear from his father about why you should run this weekend to help his son simply walk. Ohio soldier Kyle Hockenberry went to Afghanistan thinking of 9-11, but he was also thinking of his family. For those I love, I will sacrifice. The tattoo he selected a week before deployment would become chillingly real after a roadside bomb nearly took his life. This photo was snapped aboard a medevac helicopter by Stars and Stripes. Private Hockenberry had provided his own caption with these words and his bravery. This is what he chose to put on his rib cage and he ended up living it to the fullest. Kyle's father Chet is proud of his son's sacrifice and his survival. He stepped on an IED that blew him over top of a three-story building. Lost both of his legs above the knees and he lost his left arm above the elbow. With only his right arm, Kyle is soldiering on. In a San Antonio military hospital, he's trying out new prosthetics and learning to walk on his own. It's truly God's miracle that he's here today. This giant American flag was painted in honor of private first class Kyle Hockenberry. 1,600 square feet of red, white, and blue paint signifying the gratitude of a nation. But it would be a few inches of ink on Kyle's own skin that would send a message of sacrifice around the globe. For those I love, I will sacrifice. The words have left even battle-hardened military surgeons speechless. Through multiple skin grafts and surgeries, doctors have made sure to leave these letters untouched. You talk to them, it really inspired them and hit them hard because that's what it's all about, and they worked around it. Now complete strangers are preparing to run in Kyle's honor. This Sunday, Cincinnati's first Tunnel to Towers run will raise money to build Kyle a smart home so he can live on his own. He don't have to worry about coming home and trying to find a place to live and how to pay for it. The Tunnel to Towers run began in New York City, where FDNY firefighter Stephen Siller ran through the city's longest tunnel on 9-11. One of the 343 firefighters killed in the World Trade Center collapse, the first casualties in a war that Kyle Hockenberry would barely survive a decade later. Kyle's feeling is that once his house is built, he wants to continue to help the next guy and the next guy after that. And there he is at the World Trade Center site. Last year, I was standing there when we told you about the New York's Tunnel to Towers run. Clyde and I suggested Cincinnati should have one too. And this Sunday, Nine News is sponsoring Cincinnati's very first Tunnel to Towers run at Spring Grove Cemetery and Arboretum. Sign up and join us right now on WCPO.com. Carol? Sounds like a good idea and a nice story, Brendan. Thanks.